Leo, welcome to your monthly reading for March of 2021. My name is Brandon Tobias. It's an honor to have you here on my channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. If you're new here, this is your last Zodiac-specific monthly reading, probably for all time on this channel. And the reason why is we are transforming as a channel and evolving into weekly, collective, true love, twin flame, and soul connection, soulmate, collective love updates. So... If you want to be part of the tribe and get those continued weekly updates, timeless weekly updates that give you inspiration, clarity, and next step guidance in your true love situation, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the soul family. We are super excited and we'd love to have you. Now, Leo, if you do uh, enjoy this content, be sure to hit that like button as well. Do me a favor. It helps this channel and video grow so we can guide more people. And if you want to get notified every time I go live on YouTube and never miss another live event, which is every Sunday, by the way, it's the most amazing event ever. And uh, it's incredible. I don't want you to miss it. Hit that little bell button so you always get notified as well. Um, Leo, let's get into your uh, channeled reading. What I'm going to do is open the ceremony, call in my guides and angels, call in the guides for the sign of Leo, and then give some channeled messages without the tarot. Uh, just strictly speaking, highest good and healing from spirit. And then we'll get into your channeled tarot reading. This is for your love situation, situationship, re current relationship, or if you're single and looking for new love, this will also apply to you energetically, the lessons you're going through in love. So let's go ahead and get right into it without further ado. There will be an extended reading in the description box below. If you resonate and you want to go deeper and find out how your person in this situation is feeling about you or the other side of the spectrum. Here we go. Calling in and opening the ceremony now for the collective sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising signs. Calling in my spirit guides, loved ones, masters, wise ones, angels, and archangels, Archangel Michael specifically, Jesus Christ, Mary Magdalene, and Archangel Raphael. Calling in the angels and guides for the collective sign of Leo as well, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Spirit, please allow me to channel for the highest good and clarity in love and life for Leo for everyone watching and involved now and in the future. Thank you so much. The ceremony is now officially open. Let me check in for channel messages for Leo for March of 2021. We'd like to call you the smooth operator, Leo. And we mean this in the highest regard. We see now that you have polished out everything and every part of who you are to be like a polished diamond to be seen and cherished by the world. We have seen that all of the sides of you that have been rough uh, or that have needed to be expelled or extinguished are now currently under refinement so that the truest essence of who you are deep underneath can come out and shine and be seen by the world in a way that's never been done uh, before quite like you. Um, we also see, Leo, that you are destined for greatness this month and the opportunity to step into that greatness um, and to be truly seen and recognized for a different version or a different part of who you are. We would like for you to fully embrace this and to refuse to shy away uh, from any opportunity to be truly seen for what you are. This is the part of you that is meant to be recognized by the world in and for all of its beauty, power, and charisma. Um, thank you so much for your service, and please be sure to embrace this and these opportunities. Okay, that was your message, Leo. So very clearly, you are getting recognized for the greatness within you and everything that you've been working on, polishing, refining, and going through, apparently, has been building up for this month to be seen and cherished by the world. So congratulations on that front. Now, let's get into your channeled love tarot reading. And we shall see what comes up for you. Okay. Speed guys, this is for Leo from March 2021. What do my lovely Leos need to know? We just had the Knight of Wands and the Fool card pop out. I decided to put them back in, but we, we can take those at omen. There's very much this energy of wanting to move forward towards someone here, maybe. Uh, embracing, okay, embracing the passion that lies underneath for someone. Talking about passion. So we had the Fool card, we had the Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Wands now pops up. So very clearly, Spirit is wanting to express that you're passion, your spark, your zest, your attractiveness, or your attraction to someone is at a sky-high level at this time. 
and I really feel like you have this energy of confidence and charisma and passion and excitement to move forward with a spark of desire towards a certain situation, uh, possibly in love, also to express truth and give clarity. I really do feel like there's someone here or a situation where truth and clarity is needed and you have a desire, a desire, Ace of Wands, to express that truth and clarity and to give communication towards someone very special in your life. Um, you do want to express that they, you, want, um, you want to be happy and celebrate and have victory with someone. I have a victorious moment and to start a brand new horizon or a new chapter. That's really what I'm getting with the six of wands. You guys have been through, you've been through a battle with someone. You've been through a battle with someone and you want that battle to be over and you want to embrace the new potential horizon and opportunity with someone that you're very passionate about that you want to now share this truth with. The world card, it's been one hell of a cycle. And this, you moving forward to communicate clearly and express this love and passion and victory with someone is the end of a arduous cycle. Chariot card as well and five of pentacles, okay? This is very much so, very strongly, you moving forward to someone else to claim them, to express your love and your passion and their, your truth to them. And someone here, you know, that you've maybe left, been feeling a little bit left out in the cold by or you or they felt left out in the cold. I'm really getting you felt left out in the cold by them or the situation was it, it was in a place where it felt like you felt you were abandoned or you felt left out in the cold or you felt hopeless or there's something like that. And I, I feel like you're not taking that. Like you're like, all right, I'm not going to be in this anymore. I'm going to express my truth and give clarity and move towards someone and I'm going to take action because of this feeling here. So whatever this was, whether it was the feeling of losing someone, getting lost by someone, uh, abandonment, or just hopelessness, or just feeling left out in the cold, feeling barren, okay, in a situation, right? This is, could be the, the part of the battle you went through in order to be victorious, six of wands with someone. Uh, you're now deciding to work and move through that and to uh, move towards someone to claim them. Uh, there, you, there you are. I, I, it's not technically you by the tarot, but I'm sensing you uh, really in the divine masculine energy here, um, stepping up and, and communicating, okay, or, or stepping up to set your, set your sights on what you want through speaking, okay, so the emperor is claiming what's yours, claiming what you want, and putting the necessary ingredients to play in your kingdom, but through Ace of Swords, the communication and clarity with that. So you're speaking what you want here, speaking what you desire, speaking of what you desire, Four of Wands, Right, you want to build a healthy, happy, amazing, loving home with someone. Uh, very much so, right? You want to have a new beginning with someone. You want to build a life with them. You want to have fun, happy, and celebratory times with them. And you want to spend the rest of your life with them, likely here. Um, Nine of Wands says that this whole ordeal has likely taken or been very stressful for you. Uh, it's taken a lot of persistence, it's taken a lot of inner courage, and it's going to still probably take some persistence and strength to do all of this. Even though you have this desire, and maybe you you will or you are planning to communicate with this person, Nine of Wands sends it's maybe just a little bit longer, or there's something that needs to be finished out or pushed out or just persisted through, okay? Um, that's going to take a little bit more strength and faith, uh, full card here, strength and faith to get to. Um, but even despite that, you are still willing to take that risk. You are still willing to take that leap of faith towards this person. There are the cards that popped out initially. Funny enough, they popped out again here. The spirit really wants to communicate. You're having a desire this month to move passionately towards and within a situation uh, towards someone and to create it um, with a lot of energy, a lot of um, determination from what I can sense, Leo, a lot of determination to be with this person, um, likely your divine feminine or someone who takes on more of the feminine energy I'm getting because you clearly here are rising in your divine masculine power to step up to claim someone. I feel there's someone on the other side who's more of a divine feminine for you. Three of Wands, you have this beautiful, amazing, loving vision and commitment you'd like to share with this person. Okay. This probably too is you either deciding within yourself or wanting to get clear also 
how and if and when you want to express this vision. You want to go all in. The three of Wands is the precipice of going all into a commitment or going into a commitment. All right. The death card here, okay, signifies that, um, you know, it might have taken some very intense uh, inner transformation, right? An inner death of sorts, an e inner ego death is what I'm hearing, an inner ego death of stubbornness to really admit this or to become the person uh, willing and capable of expressing and wanting this desire, okay, um, with, with this person. Okay, you might have had to go through, again, um, quite a strenuous time where you felt like, you know, this situation is dead or parts of you were dying off or the situation just needed to change or to die off. But what I'm feeling is like whatever this was or is becoming now, it had to really stop at some point. It had to transform and had to go undergo some sort of internal um, transmutation. It might still have to. It might still need some time is what I'm getting. With the Nine of Wands and Hangman, it might still need time to transmute. Your person, your Divine Feminine, if they are the Divine Feminine that you're claiming, um, might tell you that they need some more time or they need to do some things before this can happen. Or you might sense that that's the case. But either way, Hangman and Nine of Wands says that it's crucial to have persistence and strength towards your focused goal uh, even more so now that it's almost towards its culmination the most. So what I mean by that is if you've been in a situation where there's been space and separation for a little while now and you've had to have persistence and strength and inner courage to go through this, now that it's nearing the end of the culmination, it's even more important that you continue to have that persistence even more so than before as the last chapters finish up here. Okay, so you're on the end, you're at the ending stage of a very intense cycle, uh, as a lot of other, you know, zodiac signs are. Um, but in order to finish it up, you're going to take, it's going to take the most amount of that inner courage and persistence to, to go through. Page of Swords in the Sun. So this is, I feel very strongly, you as the Divine Masculine, more of a Divine Masculine energy. Again, take it as it resonates. Um, we do have a lot of Divine Feminines watching this channel. However, for this specific reading, it really is honing in on, right, Leo as more of the divine masculine for whatever reason. That's what I'm getting. Uh, this is the divine masculine energy coming in to basically share, okay, with the divine feminine. Hey, um, maybe it's time we can reconcile. Um, let's work this out. Okay, let's, let's express the truth. Let's give clarity. Let's illuminate the darkness of the past. Maybe I'm, as a Leo... I'm not, I'm not literally Leo. I'm saying, speaking as you, right? Me, Leo, coming to you saying, hey, this is what I was in the past. This is what happened in the past. This is why. I'm sorry. Let's work through it. Let's do this. Maybe, you know, just this kind of communication. The sun and the ace of swords is truth and clarity and working things out and a reestablishment of faith, trust, and brilliant light and love in the situation. So that's where I feel you're headed inevitably here. Page of Swords is um, it's a little bit of stubbornness. I feel you've had a little bit, again, of that ego or stubbornness when it comes to the mind. And you're kind of like, you know, there, there's this part of you, again, that may be a little bit like... What I'm getting with this, it's very firm. It's very much like, I'm going to go claim this person, whether he or she likes it or not. <laughs> and I'm going to be uh, very strong with it, you know. And I'm not giving up. That's what I'm getting with it. Like, look at this person's um, commitment or persistence. Oh, no. Uh, well, we'll just have to persist through my camera shutting off randomly. I think it overheats sometimes. I've had it on for a while. Um, and uh, even though, okay, it's going to turn on in a second. Even though, right, here we go. Um, you know, there, there might be obstacles or roadblocks in their way, right? This person is not giving up whatsoever at all. Uh, and so it's really that determination to continue on, which I feel you're having here. Temperance card. Okay, so there we go. So even with all of this, this passion, this desire, this let's make it happen now, let's work through this. For whatever reason, I feel maybe your person is just, there's, there's time needed. Or there's still maybe some healing going on. There's patience needed. There's just time for things to work themselves out. 
and it's going to call for some patience on your part, right? Uh, either either you're still needing some time to kind of figure yourself out, or your person might say, "Hey, like, okay, let's take this slow, and uh, maybe let's kind of work through things as they come." And um, judgment card is a decision. Okay, it's the decision that you've made to really come together with this person. Three of Cups and to reunite. Um, and I feel that once you make this decision, it's really going to be on their part to choose you, um, to decide whether or not they want to accept this or if they're ready or blah, blah, blah. Either way, it's gonna, then going to be up to you to give them that time. Okay, temperance is just respecting that time, that space they need to make a, a decision uh, as to whether or not they want to complete this reconciliation process with you. Because I do feel it is with someone you've been involved with in the past. Twin flame situation, deep soul connection, potentially, right? Uh, love, very deep love here. Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So the main concern, Eight of Wands, right? This is fast movement and communication. Seven of Wands fighting for them. Really strong. I, I mean, you want to fight for them. You want to give them the truth. You want to tell them and share them your truth. And really want what you want to share or give or what's underneath the deck is kind of, well, before it wasn't really equal or I wasn't able to give what you were giving me or I just had some things to work out, but now I'm ready. Now I have what it takes to give this. And maybe you're still questioning that. Maybe they're still questioning that. That's underneath the deck. So that could potentially be an influential factor here as to whether or not you or they are ready to be able to give and receive on an equal level in this relationship. Wow, Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups just popped out. I'm going to put it back in. Um, but if we, if I had taken that, we would have had, I should have taken it, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, all four aces on the board. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. Uh, can we get clarif clarify the Ace of Wands? I put it back because I didn't say the command to clarify the Ace of Wands. That was my intention, though. We have Queen of Pentacles. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands, Spirit. Uh, we have the Devil, wow. Uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, wow, I'm going to draw one more. And there's the Ace of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So, and there's, you know, there's you, King of Wands here, right? That Divine Masculine Energy. We have the Hierophant here, the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Okay. And the Knight of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Queen of Pentacles. So, there's something here about, like, there's something here about, trust what i'm picking up on like someone here is questioning i feel it's your divine feminine here who's questioning well why did it take you so long why did it take you so long to realize this what took you so long to come in you know you walked away from me before or i had to walk away from you or something happened but i walked away how can i trust that you're going to be stable enough okay to support me as i do my work that's essentially what is being said by the divine feminine here and you are here going, well, no, I've, you don't understand. I've transformed. I've transformed my essence, and I know what I want to give, and I know what I can give. Two of Pentacles, and I know that I want you. Wow, Ten of Cups. Holy cow. Six of Cups. Two of Pentacles. I know you're my person. This is what you're saying to them. I know you're my person. I want to go all the way with you, and I want to claim and be with you for the rest of my entire life. Queen of Cups is giving your entire heart to someone equally. Equal give and take again showing up. Okay. Um, it's, yeah, so this is the hesitation here being expressed by the, your counterpart, at least, all right, who most likely, again, is more of a divine feminine energy, who is doing well. Your, your person here is, is stable, strong, independent, taking care of themselves, likely healing with the temperance card. Then I feel you come rushing in and you go, well, here's, here's, here's what I've gone through and here's the truth and here's what I want and... And that's great, and your person loves you likely, but they're going to have some questions. And they're going to be like, well, why did this happen? You know, what is this devil energy that was existing in this relationship before? Or why was that happening? Why did it take you so long, Knight of Pentacles? How can I trust that you're not going to, right, be in and out, Eight of Cups and Ace of Pentacles, and it's stable so I can, right, not be interrupted as I do the most important work here? Or your person's going to be concerned because they're they're doing some important work for the world or for themselves, and they are concerned that this would essentially interfere. Now, what you have to share is that you've come to a place where, one, you're not willing to give up. If you truly feel this, you're going to be there to prove that you're really legitimately there for this person and you choose this person. You're not going away. That's one. Just how it is. Telling you how it is. 
Second, that you are you have become someone who is a total asset to their life and able to help them achieve their goals as opposed to take away or interfere. So, and that's the king of wands here saying, hey, I'm actually a powerful asset that can help you and support you. And I know you can support me and let's do this together. That's essentially what's going on here. Okay. So you just have to be strong, be patient. All right. Allow this person to make the choice as to whether or not they want to reconcile with you and just allow your clarity, your strength of will, your persistence and your firmness and stability in your decision to speak for themselves. And this person should definitely open up because I do sense there's a lot of love here. Okay. All right. Well, that's the reading you got, Leos. Um, really cool reading. All right. I do see a huge change and shift in your energy and what you're going for and who you're going for and and uh, how you're going for it. So just know, right, that this um, – uh, I do feel the situation is destined to work itself out. You just got to have faith and courage and, again, that strength and persistence, nine of wands. And be willing to wait. Be willing to be patient for this person because they've likely been through a lot in their own life and with you and – they were going to work through all that with you, okay? But stay strong, go after them with the vigor, and see what happens. Um, if you resonated with this, be sure to check out the extended reading in the description box below. We'll be looking at how your person's doing, what they're up to, and how they're feeling in the situation to give you a little more clarity or context around them. And if you want to work with me, I do do personal sessions. Check out BrandonTobias.com. And follow me on Instagram, BT Speaks, all one word. And um, definitely check out the future live event coming on the Sunday on this YouTube channel. I do it live every single week. And um, yeah, if you resonate with this whole reading, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Again, we're moving away from specific Zodiac readings, but we will be doing collective deep soul connection, twin flame collective updates on a weekly basis. Um, so um, definitely if you resonate with that and you want clarity and guidance for yourself and your love situation, that's where you'll get it. So Leo's, I appreciate you. Thanks so much. And um, I will see you in your extended. Bye for now.